Mastering the pronunciation of occupations and roles. Hello everyone. Welcome to our new English learning session. Today, we're focusing on an essential aspect of introductions, sharing your occupation or role. One of the most common questions we're asked when meeting someone new is, what do you do? It's crucial not only to understand this question, but also to respond accurately. This session will significantly revolve around the pronunciation of common occupation and role vocabulary. By the end, you should be able to articulate these terms correctly, enhancing your overall English proficiency. Before diving into specific words, let's revisit some general pronunciation rules. Remember, English is a stress-timed language, meaning that certain syllables in words are emphasized or stressed. Correct stress placement can change the way your spoken English is perceived. This applies to our occupation words as well, and we'll highlight this throughout the lesson. Now, let's move on to specific words. We've compiled a list of commonly used occupation terms that you might need to use or understand in a conversation. Let's pronounce each one together, with emphasis on the stressed syllables. 1. Teacher, T-share. 2. Engineer, Engineer. 3. Doctor, Doctor. 4. Nurse, Nurse. 1 syllable. 5. Lawyer, Lawyer. 6. Architect, A architect. 7. Scientist, Scientist. 8. Photographer, Photographer. 9. Chef, chef, one syllable. 10. Writer, writer. Similar to our previous section, here's a list of commonly used role terms. Repeat after me. 1. Student, student. 2. Parent, parent. 3. Leader, leader. 4. Manager, manager. 5. Volunteer. Volume on tier. 6. Artist. A artist. 7. Athlete. A T H leet. 8. Musician. Mu S I Sean. 9. Entrepreneur. Entre pre N E U R. 10. Innovator. In no V A tour. Well, there you have it. Folks, we hope this video was helpful in improving your pronunciation of common occupation and role vocabulary. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep saying these words out loud. Focus on the correct stress placement, and you'll get better with time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next session, where we'll continue our journey in mastering the English language. Stay tuned!